strange things found in Chernobyl. Humanoid Creature In the days leading up to the Chernobyl disaster of 1986, locals living in the Ukrainian region of the city began reporting sightings of a very strange humanoid creature. Even workers swore that they saw the creature hovering around the power plant. It was described as having red eyes and wings. While some called the creature the Mothman, others called it the Blackbird, and whoever saw it was affected by the phenomenon suffering nightmares, demonic visions, and threatening phone calls. Researchers felt that it was just a mutated black stork, however, the description given by locals did not match a stork in any way. The Blackbird was regarded as a deadly omen that looked like a 20-foot bird which was last seen flying through radiated smoke after the explosion and was never seen again. Abandoned Carnival Carnivals are always upbeat and happy. In ordinary places, yes. Chernobyl, however, is the furthest place from ordinary. Looking at this place, it may look like a post-apocalyptic ruin, but that's the damage toxic radiation can do to a place. What you see here are remnants of what used to be one of the most bubbling places in Ukraine. This amusement park in Pripyat hosted many of the Chernobyl plant workers and their families. What's left now is a decaying Ferris wheel, bumper cars surrounded by overgrown vines, and an old rusty skeleton of a merry-go-round. According to reports, the amusement park wasn't even supposed to open until after the disaster, but the townspeople needed something to do while the nuclear reactor was melting, forcing the town to open it. Five days later, the blast went off. Hospital of Doom After the horrific night of the 26th of April, 1986, the Pripyat City Hospital, usually a busy one, turned out to be a nightmare. It was a place where 37 plant workers, firefighters, and soldiers ended up being treated for severe radiation poisoning. Many of them never left the hospital alive. The victims' clothes were so full of radiation that they were thrown in the basement of the hospital where they still remain to this day. While hospital documents and instruments lie strewn around, it is the basement that turned out to be the most radiated place in the city. It soon had to be abandoned within a few days because of the radiation levels that continued to skyrocket. Today, many feel that the hospital is one of the most haunted places in the area. Paranormal investigators have claimed they discovered several human-like figures moving through the frames during video surveillance of the hospital. Black Frogs The high levels of radiation in Chernobyl have led to mutation of several species, from bugs to boars. Such animals reproducing have increased their population, making Chernobyl seem like some new ecosphere with the weirdest animals spotted sometimes on camera. Biologists have spotted various weird-looking frogs, but none can compare to the new black frog found in the Chernobyl forest. The original color of these frogs were at one time green, but the UV radiation has caused their melanin to go haywire. Melanin is what protects the skin from the sun and radiation. As a result, the frogs have turned to a deep black. Creepy, right? Number 13. Octopus-like blob We don't really know what this is, but it's surfaced from Chernobyl. It looks pretty much like the blob in the movie Evolution, which grew to giant proportions because of fire and radiation. Who's to know what organisms might have been mutated after the nuclear fallout in Chernobyl, transforming into humongous creatures like what you're seeing in this picture? This could even be some weird form of giant bacteria, but true or not, you decide and let us know. Silhouettes of Missing Townspeople What's worse than a radiation blast wiping out everything in its path, leaving behind a silhouette of people? If you walk around the side of the Chernobyl power plant today, it's not the abandoned buildings or the power plant itself that would get your attention. It's the hundreds of silhouettes of people that lie around. A little girl with bows in her pigtails reaches for a light switch in one room. On one wall, people appear to dance. On another, three children hold on to each other in terror. It's a scary sight. But it might help to know that these silhouettes aren't left behind from the Chernobyl incident. They are painted by graffiti artists who broke into the zone and left behind several silhouettes all over Pripyat and the surrounding areas. Black Fungus That Eats Radiation In 1991, five years after the disaster at Chernobyl, scientists discovered that a strange type of black fungus growing inside the reactors and surrounding areas. The black fungus contains melanin, a pigment that influences color in living things and protects against ultraviolet light. Experiments on the fungus revealed that they grew even faster when exposed to ionizing radiation. Even more amazing was the fact that the black fungus was not just growing because of the radiation, but it was also changing in structure. 
the positive effect of the fungus on the flora and the region was evident, especially in the red forest. It was here that the levels of radiation were the highest, and the main cause for the forest to turn red. But over the years, new trees, plants, and shrubs have taken root, and birds happily live and sing perched on the branches. Beneath the soil, scientists discovered webs of the fungus which passed signals through the roots, alchemizing the radiation and turning it into something new. A Headless Moose One of the weirdest photos to emerge from Chernobyl was that of a headless moose. Well, you can clearly see a moose running in this video, but where is its head? Could such a bizarre mutation really exist? Was it a moose with a very small head that was not captured by the camera, or was it a zombie? We will never know, but what we do know is that if you're considering exploring Chernobyl and seeing something like this, we advise you to just get the hell out of there. Mutated Animals The blast at Chernobyl was a terrible incident. It claimed a ton of lives and burned several places. However, some of the most disastrous effects of the tragedy weren't seen until years after. A few years after the disaster, scientists began studying the wildlife around the blast, and what they found shocked everyone. At first, scientists believed that the area would never support life again, but they were shocked to find several animals thriving in the hostile environment. But that doesn't mean that's a good thing. Many of the animals that the scientists found had been badly affected by the radiation exposure. They'd mutated in several ways, from pigs with extra limbs to goats with weird colors. Some mutated animals could live a normal life, but others were riddled with conditions that made living impossible. Abandoned Ferris Wheel The Pripyat Amusement Park was scheduled to open on May 1st, five days after the Chernobyl nuclear plant tragedy. But because locals needed some activity to divert their minds from the disaster as the nuclear reactor melted down and their homes filled with lethal radiation, Soviet officials opened the amusement park on April 27. It was a clever diversion that hid the terrifying facts of living so close to the radiation. Unfortunately, modern fairground attractions occasionally fail in deadly ways, causing accidents and injuries to people they are designed to entertain. But a ride that darts in and out of a cloud of radiation is particularly horrifying. It gives new meaning to the expression, Thrill Ride. A once non-existent lynx. The Eurasian lynx was officially declared extinct in Europe. However, in 2014, the animal made a surprising comeback to Chernobyl. It seems that since there were no humans in the area, the lynx returned and began thriving again. The Eurasian lynx was considered extinct in Western Europe due to encroachment on its habitat and poaching in the early 20th century. It survived in Siberia, and now, several of them have been found wandering around in Chernobyl. Scientists haven't been able to assess how radioactive these critters are because they are so elusive. Moreover, the entire region is still dangerous due to radiation, but that has hardly affected the animals who might just be happy seeing no humans. Red Forest Animals weren't the only ones that got affected by the radiation exposure that plagued Chernobyl. Plants were not left out either. But unlike animals who have somehow lived with it, plants here haven't gotten around to that part yet. This shrub here got a much worse fate compared to others. It's called the Red Forest and during the nuclear meltdown, the pine leaves on it turned blood red and died. But that's not even the weird part. The craziest part about this strange treat is that it hasn't decayed or rotted even though it died over 20 years ago. That's strange because usually when trees die, they don't take 20 years to decompose. Scientists can't tell for sure, but it doesn't look like it will decay soon. Radioactive Spider Webs When scientists traveled to Chernobyl to search for insects in the superhead zone, they discovered that the insect population was nearly non-existent. However, the few species that survived displayed many malformations and mutations, with spiders being the most impacted. Even though the radioactively afflicted spiders appear normal, their webs were vastly different from those of typical spiders. The radioactive webs were more irregular and lacked the typical pattern that spiders used to construct their webs. Instead, the webs appeared misshapen and warped. The only way to determine if these radioactive spiders are potent enough to transform you into Spider-Man is to get bitten by one, but we don't recommend doing so. Conjoined Frog Triplets You saw the Black Frog of Chernobyl, but what would you say to this beastly creature? It seems that radiation might have affected a female frog so much that the tadpoles might have all fused into one, resulting in this weird case of conjoined frog triplets. It does look creepy thinking what horrifying things lurk in the forest of Chernobyl. Creepy Dolls 
If you've seen any horror movie, you'll know that creepy dolls in abandoned places are a scary match, and Chernobyl is no different. Almost everywhere around the abandoned Pripyat, you'll find dolls lying around. From rotting windowsills to forgotten places under beds, they are everywhere with their creepy, lifeless eyes that make them ten times scarier than any horror prop. Around the time the nuclear reactor was about to go off, many of the families were told that their relocation was only temporary, so they left everything they owned behind, including the toys that were abandoned by kids. Many of these dolls were left in strange postures that only kids could conceive of in their wonderful childish imaginations. Since the reactor went off, many of the dolls have suffered severe radiation, making their appearance more disturbing. But while some dolls were left behind, some were added after the incident by people who felt it necessary to play a dark prank on tourists. Swallows with deformed beaks It wasn't just land animals that were affected by the radiation in Chernobyl. Even birds displayed several mutations. Barn swallows around Chernobyl were spotted with some extremely bizarre features, the most common of which were deformed beaks. Others showed a weird pattern of feathers, while some were also detected with albinism. Quite a number of the birds were found to have smaller brains. Check out these barn swallows with deformed beaks found in Chernobyl. Hospital of Death Here we have one of the most infamous hospitals in the world, the Hospital of Death. It seems ironic that a hospital meant to save lives would be synonymous with death, but this hospital has earned its nickname. It wasn't always called the Hospital of Death, though. At the heart of the city, Pripyat City Hospital was one of the busiest hospitals on the night of the disaster. Most of the first responders, many of whom never left, were rushed here. The hospital is now abandoned, but it holds a toxic secret. After the victims died, the hospital didn't know what to do with the clothes. The clothes were so radiated that they had to keep them in the basement, where they remain till this day. Since then, the clothes have contaminated the entire building, and today, its radiation is 4,000 times higher than everywhere else in Pripyat. The Chernobyl Monster In 2021, a photograph of a new monster discovered in Chernobyl caused an online sensation. It was a photograph of a strange, hairless beast with the body of a wolf and the face of a bearded sphinx cat. It's not surprising to encounter weird mutations in Chernobyl, despite the fact that no one can vouch for the creature's authenticity. But if you take a good look at the pictures, it could well be a bear affected by radiation whose hair has fallen off. Its face and snout certainly do look like a bear though. What do you think? Although one hopes that no such creature actually exists. Radioactive Endangered Eagles Besides extinct animals, even endangered birds were spotted thriving in Chernobyl. One such bird is the endangered white-tailed eagle spotted in an urban area for the first time in a hundred years. Eagle experts feel that it is the presence of wolves in the CEZ that provides the carrion for the eagles, resulting in the thriving population. There are presently 249 species of radioactive birds existing in Chernobyl, among them this beautiful but radiation-filled eagle who prefers making its home in the abandoned watchtowers of Chernobyl. Radiation-Eating Fungus This is probably the biggest evidence of life finding a way in the most uncomfortable situation. Scientists have recently found a fungus growing inside a reactor in Chernobyl. The radiation levels in this place are still insanely high, so scientists were shocked when they found the fungus growing there. But this fungus is no ordinary fungus, it's actually a radiation-eating organism. The more radiation it's exposed to, the more it grows. Experts were so impressed with the fungus that they took a sample to space, and they found that within a month, the interesting organism blocked a significant portion of radiation by eating it. Scientists have stated that the fungus could be used as a shield for astronauts in space exploration and help to clean up waste. Weird alien looking animal Okay, what do we have here? This looks like one ghostly animal. Well, it looks like an alien cow to me. It's a known fact that radiation can cause these strangers and mutations in living things, so we just cannot write off this creature, which might just be a mutated baby cow or even a deer with a very demonic looking head. The little monster is said to have been found in Chernobyl, smart foxes in Chernobyl. Now here's an interesting video that emerged from Chernobyl and it's a fox making his own sandwich. One wonders, did the radiation impact animals to make them smarter? Could it be the reason why animals began thriving in a place so deadly that no human could hope to survive? This fox seems to have got the idea of how a sandwich is made and you just don't get to see something like this every day, now do you? Strange looking wild boars. 
The most unsettling findings at Chernobyl are the animals that have undergone mutations and now resemble alien species, such as wild boars. Due to the lack of a thriving human population, experts have discovered that the number of wild boars in the region has increased, and while they may appear a bit strange, they do not resemble this horrifying beast or zombie. One of the primary reasons why the appearance of wild boars in Chernobyl has altered is that they are continuing to consume radioactive plants such as mushrooms. Wild boars from the neighboring country of Germany that were sent to a lab for analysis were found to contain unusually high amounts of radiation and were deemed unsafe for human consumption. Who on earth would want to capture wild boars that resemble a terrifying alien? The Gorbachev Colt One of the most famous creatures to appear out of Chernobyl was the Gorbachev Colt. The cult was found in Zatomir, Ukraine, which was also affected by the radioactivity from the nuclear explosion. Several livestock suffered extreme and gross mutations like this cult. A life-size photo of the cult was presented to Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev in 1988 to show him the impact the disaster had on neighboring cities. The heavily mutated cult also suffered from dwarfism. Stalkers some people desire to take a trip around the world, and some crave a whiff of radiation. You may not be ready for this, but stalkers are the official name given to a bunch of Russians and Ukrainians that sneak into Chernobyl. Yep, while the average person wouldn't go near the nuclear plant with a 10-foot pole, some people romanticize the area to the extent that they sneak into abandoned buildings and explore them. Sometimes they even sleep over there. To make matters weirder, they bring along a Geiger counter on their trips to see how much radiation they can expose themselves to. And in case that's not weird enough for you, they also eat the fruits that grow in the danger zone. The Blackbird of Chernobyl or Mothman A few days before the Chernobyl disaster, several workers in the control room of the nuclear power facility in northern Ukraine claimed to have seen the Blackbird of Chernobyl in the days leading up to the tragedy. Those who had the misfortune of seeing the creature reportedly experienced horrific nightmares and menacing phone calls. Still, others think that the Blackbird of Chernobyl was a manifestation of the Mothman, whose presence always signaled that a catastrophic event would soon follow. Workers who initially survived the blast only to die later said that they saw a terrifying bird-like creature with a 20-foot wingspan flying through the smoke and flames. After the Chernobyl disaster, there were no more further reports of the Mothman leading many to wonder what it was that haunted the area and its people days leading up to the disaster. Middle School 3 We can't forget the scariest room in Pripyat. It's called Middle School Number 3, and it houses the largest collection of gas masks. One particular room is covered in gas masks, so much so that you can't even see the floor. There's also a gas mask wearing doll propped on a stool in the middle of the room making the whole place terrifying. Looking at this room, your mind may conjure up the scenario that led to all those gas masks littered on the floor. Luckily, the truth is more boring than crowds of kids trying to fit gas masks on as radiation circles their school. The gas masks were in storage at the time of the disaster and were probably never taken out by anyone since. A six-legged lamb. As if the Gorbachev cold wasn't hideous enough, there have been other mutations emerging from Chernobyl like this six-legged lamb. It was spotted in a field near the nuclear plant. It shows how radiation can affect the growth of fetuses in the worst way possible, and even human fetuses were reported showing similar defects. Wolf-like dogs Just two days after the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl, people living within a radius of 18 miles were ordered to evacuate. Unfortunately, they were not allowed to take their pets, and several cats and dogs were left behind. Soviet soldiers were sent in to call all the pets, but it proved impossible because the animals had already dispersed into the surrounding woods. Today, a new breed of dogs, the descendants of the abandoned pets, live in Chernobyl, and most of them look wolf-like, suggesting the abandoned dogs had mixed and bred with wolves. The dogs look unique, but due to their living conditions, they have short lifespans and their coats were also found to be contaminated with radiation. A fish with a pig's head you must have heard the story of a giant catfish living in the ponds around Chernobyl. But what about this beastly fish with a pig's head? This weird photo that did the rounds of the internet is extremely freaky, and can something like this actually exist? We don't really know, but you tell us what you think about this very strange pig fish. Feral Cattle Like I said before, after the disaster, scientists determined Chernobyl would not be inhabitable for the next 20,000 years because of radioactive contamination. By all measures, it was considered a nuclear wasteland, a desert for life. Yet, barely 30 years later, scientists have found several animals living in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. 
And this time, the animals aren't mutated. In fact, scientists have been studying the herd of feral cows that now live in Chernobyl for over three years, and what they found has baffled and impressed them. The wild cattle behave like their wild ancestors, who lived in this area thousands of years ago. They're united, maintain a strict hierarchy with a leader, and protect their young ones. Despite the harsh environment, most of the cows look healthy. That's a lot more than we can say for domestic cattle, although scientists can pinpoint how these cows evolved this way in a short time. There are theories that suggest the radiation in Chernobyl may have something to do with it. The Elephant Foot This could well be the creepiest image in the world, and though it may not look terrifying, it is definitely so. It is the famous elephant's foot, a massive black corium with many layers externally resembling a tree bark and glass form underneath the Chernobyl nuclear plant. In the aftermath of the explosion at Chernobyl, investigators discovered what could be the eeriest part of the area, the famous elephant's foot. It was a heap of searing hot, lava-like chemicals that had burned through the facility, reaching the basement, and like molten lava, it solidified into the shape of an elephant's foot. Today, the elephant's foot is not as active as before, but it's still generating heat and still melting down into the base of Chernobyl. There was a time it was considered one of the deadliest things on Earth, and standing next to it for just 30 seconds can make you feel dizzy and tired. Two minutes and your cells may begin to hemorrhage. Five minutes and you're a goner. The heat generated from the foot was almost 4,712 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists feel that it will cool over time, but will continue to emit radiation and be radioactive for centuries. Ghostly Creature in Chernobyl Check out this gross image of a strange creature reported to be living in Chernobyl. Our thumbnail of today will no doubt freak you out. But this one is just one among a few frightening and eerie abominations existing inside the CEZ. What do you think it is? It looks like a humanoid creature walking on all fours, a deformed feral adult abandoned as a child, or some mutant animal. It's hard to say given the kind of freak show hunting Chernobyl today. Why don't you tell us what you think of this beastly creature in the comments below, and hey, don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to this channel.